There's me, Daisy, my brothers, Fian and Connor, Mum and my stepdad, Barry. And we live in Chorley in Lancashire. We're just like any other family, really. Except for the last three years, we all made a real effort to shape up and get healthy. We're not super fit exercise fanatics or anything like that. We find it really hard to get motivated sometimes. Come on, Daisy. But it's become a way of life for us now and we feel like we've really benefited from it. About three years ago, Mum decided she wanted to get in shape, so we all went down to our local gym and had a look around. My first impression of the gym was that it was modern and funky and the staff were really friendly. Fian and I thought it would be a good chance for the whole family to spend some time together. And it meant we wouldn't be hanging around on the streets with nothing to do after school. But when Mum and Barry found out how much it cost, they decided we couldn't afford it and we didn't join. We were really disappointed. <laughs> a few months later, Barry was trying to give up smoking, but he was finding it really hard. I sat down with my calculator and worked out that the amount of money he'd save on cigarettes would be enough to pay for a year's gym membership for us all. I think it really brought home to Mum and Barry that we had to get our priorities right. Before we got our membership, none of us did very much exercise. It was just weekly PE classes and swimming now and then. <laughs> Experts say that just 30 minutes a day of exercise can prevent disease, and we weren't getting that. The first time we went to the gym, the instructor showed us round. Before we get onto the bike, uh, we seem to set the seat height. We did an induction so the instructors would know our fitness level and we'd know how to use the equipment safely. That was three years ago and since then we've been coming here every week. I do tennis lessons once a week. I enjoy them because they the instructor is really, really friendly and it's a really enjoyable sport. I just started a trampoline in class too. Me and Mum use the machines once a week to do cardiovascular exercise to make our hearts pump faster. It can be tiring, but at the end it gives you a good feeling. Working out has helped me at school as well. I decreased my cross-country time by one minute. I used to find cycling up hills really hard, but now I go for it and I've got miles more stamina. There's always someone here supervising if you need help with anything. Over the last 10 years, the number of overweight children in the UK has doubled. Studies show that kids are doing less exercise and eating more junk food, but there are alternatives. To burn off the calories in a bottle of cola, you have to run for 35 minutes. But water doesn't have any calories in it at all. Come on, put your back into it. To burn off a packet of crisp, to skip 20 minutes. But a raw carrot would only take four. Watching a football match on telly burns 90 calories. But playing a match burns a whopping 630. Getting up to change the TV channel burns one calorie. But 20 minutes playing tennis burns 150. You don't need to go to a gym to exercise. You don't even need to go running or cycling. Any activity that makes your heart beat faster is exercise. So even a game of TIG in the playground is really good for you. My attitude to exercise now is more motivated and I want to do it more than I did before. My main benefit of exercise is physically inside you feel more fitter and prouder. If I met somebody who didn't exercise, I'd advise them. It's really fun, you don't always have to be puffing and panting, so get on down. Children have lots to worry about these days. Exams. Falling out with friends. Divorce. Sometimes worrying makes you feel sick. Fitting in. Strangers. Bullying. If we um, worry, then we lose our concentration at school. Homework, going to high school. I think one of the things children in year six worry about the most is going from primary school to high school. When you reach year six, you've been here ages, and you know your way around, and you know all the people here. 
It seems all warm and friendly. High school is huge and there are so many pupils and teachers. I think it will be really cold and threatening. You also hear loads of rumours about what happens at high school and they're really scary. I've heard that when you go to high school you get your head flushed down the toilet. I worry about exams because I'm worried that I do really, really bad. I'm worried that I'm not going to make any new friends. I'm afraid that people will bully me. I'm worried about um, getting lost and the teacher tells you off because he got lost. We're going to spend the day at high school to see whether it's anything like we think it will be. Hello everyone, welcome to Bramall High School. The first lesson we did was drama. When we walked into the drama room, everyone was sat in a big circle and it was just sort of like, oh my goodness. The lesson was about the story of a refugee. The whole class had to make a human bridge. Drama was quite interesting and I picked it up quite quickly. And the people next to us talked to me and Mike to tell us what was like going on. So that made us feel a bit better. Where did I say was significant? Which... I got a drama star for answering a question. It made me feel a bit more part of the class. Have a drama star, Charlotte. That's fantastic. Well done. Uh, this is basically the dome, and this is where like everyone just like grabs a bit of lunch or something or break. At everyone... lunchtime, some Year Eleven girls showed us around school and answered our questions. And this is where you wait for physics. It was as well. very noisy, and um, it was quite scary as well, because everyone was pushing you and shoving you to get past you. If you don't have expensive shoes, you get bullied. Everyone just like wears just like normal black shoes. So if you don't, you know, you just don't. Do you get your head flushed down the toilet? <laughs> I've never heard of anyone getting no. their head flushed. There's meant to be like a day dedicated to it, but it's never yeah, ever happened. Yeah, something like Year 7 Dunking Day or something, but it's just a rumour it never, never does happen. If you ever have any problems or anything, there's so many people you can go and talk to. And yeah. You shouldn't ever feel alone or anything. After they'd answered our questions, it made me feel a bit less stressed about not making any friends and finding my way around school. Our last lesson was science, where we were put into groups with Year 7 pupils to do experiments. We've got Charlotte, Amber and Harriet to work with Tom and Adam. OK. I thought science was the best um, because people included us more and we felt more like we were part of the class. The people we were working with made us feel more comfortable. If we got it wrong then they'd help us to get it better. <laughs> I'm not that worried anymore about getting my head flushed down the toilet. I don't feel as worried as I was this morning because I've done some lessons and feel a bit more confident about this school. I don't feel as scared as I did this morning because I've seen what they're like and they seem really nice. I'm still a bit nervous about going to high school but I'm quite excited as well. I'm quite looking forward to it because it looks fun. I want chips! And I want pizza! You're not having pizza and chips. No pizza, no chips. Food's always been a source of friction in our house. Mum's always telling us to eat five portions of fruit and veg a day, but sometimes it's just not appetising. I know we need to eat a balanced diet to keep us healthy, but let's face it, Chips taste better than sprouts. Oh! Our diets have improved over the past few years because of our mum. We both eat sensibly, but sometimes it's hard to avoid temptation.
Nathan's just eating a really fattening cake. <laughs> really fattening. On my way to school, I bought some sweets. Oh yeah, and I did that as well. <laughs> and a seed balls. And I had the midget gems at well. one. Sunday. Because we all used to argue so much about who ate what, Mum came up with an idea of a food chart where on weekdays everyone gets to pick an evening meal for the whole family to eat. Right, OK, Nathan, do you want to choose for Monday? Or... It usually works well because we all get involved and we pick our own meals. Sometimes we have rows about eating our greens, though, because Mum gives us veg with every meal. No, no, no cauliflower or broccoli. We will be having cauliflower or broccoli. Mm -hmm. Probably both. Broccoli. For my tea, I'm going to have pork ribs and rice with sweet corn and peas in. But I've got to have carrots, so I'm going to have a bit of a row with my mum about that. I said I'll eat my cauliflower if I can't. Um, mashed potatoes, but I'm not going to eat it. I'm just going to wait till my mum's gone and chuck it in the bin. Today's been a massive success. We've got in all the portions of fruit and vegetables that we've needed to. Tea time has been our usual Saturday night treat, but we've managed to get in fruit and vegetables as well. And thankfully, the boys have enjoyed it, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Which is nice. And tomorrow we'll have our usual Sunday lunch with zillions of vegetables. Good? No. <laughs> but there's always a compromise. For my tea, I'm going to have some chicken fried rice um, with sweet corn, peas, and um, the other thing is cooked carrots. I'm going to have raw carrots because I don't like cooked carrots. In school we've learnt loads of stuff about balanced diets and food groups. For example, the food pyramid which shows you how much of each food group you should eat every day. This layer is carbohydrates like bread, pasta and potatoes. You should eat about nine portions of those a day. This layer is fruit and veg. You should have five a day. This represents dairy like cheese, milk and yoghurt. You need about three of those a day. This is for protein like eggs, meat and fish. You need two of these a day. This is for treats like fried food and sweets. Only one a day, I'm sorry to say. Break it down. Even though it's really hard to eat a balanced diet sometimes, everyone needs to do it because the right balance of foods can help prevent disease and keep you healthy. Healthy food doesn't mean boring food, it can be nice and fun too.